Hey everyone, and welcome to a video I know you've all been asking for. I'm assuming, I don't know, I recorded this like three months ago. But today, I'm going to be taking you behind the scenes to show you how an episode of The Chip Tide Show is made. The first step of any video is to pick the topic. Now, this is a critical part. A video can live or die based on what you pick as a topic, so it's very important that you don't just choose some random obscure game from your childhood that no one will have heard of. Huh. Step two, recording the gameplay. Now, to the untrained eye, this may seem like the easiest part of the process. And that's because it is. I use an Elgato HD Game Capture 60, I think is what it's called. Uh, Elgato is not sponsoring this video in any way, but... Actually, Richard, do you mind giving Elgato a call and seeing if they want to... As I was saying, Elgato is not sponsoring this video, but again, it's the Elgato Game Capture HD 60. Pretty simple to use, you just plug some HDMI cables in, plug this little guy into the uh, your computer, download some recording software, turn the settings way down because your computer has about as much stamina as, well, me. And you're off to the races. Now when recording gameplay, it's important that you show the game as it was intended to be played, in its truest essence, and you don't come up with any arbitrary, dumb gimmicks or challenges or anything like that. Generally, I don't record the whole game, it's just usually the beginning part, but if you want to play the whole thing and record it, by all means, who am I to stop you? Have fun in editing, chump. Oh, Richard, I should make you do that! When recording gameplay, I also like to stop and take notes for jokes and stuff as I go. Not actually in this notebook though, my handwriting is garbage, I would have no idea what I wrote. After the gameplay is recorded and I have all my notes, it's time to start writing the script. Yes, yes, I know, it might come as a shock to you that I don't improv all the episodes of the Chip Tide Show. Believe me, I've tried, it doesn't go well. So instead, I take the time to script out everything I'm gonna say for every video. Heck, I even scripted this video! I like to keep my scripts short, sweet, and to the point. Just get my review of the game out there, get my thoughts in, be done with it. You definitely don't want to craft some intricate story that grows over the course of the episode, like having a video about the minigames in Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz actually be about me coming to terms with my surrogate monkey son moving on to monkey college. You definitely don't want to do anything like that. When writing, it's important to free yourself of all distractions, just get in the groove and just bang it out. You definitely don't want to have YouTube open on your second monitor and get distracted watching highlights from sitcoms you didn't even watch. And then you think, hey, maybe I'll do just a round of Enter the Gungeon or something, which turns into five rounds of Enter the Gungeon. Then you get hungry, so you go down and get a snack, and you come back up and you realize you're out of the groove, so you just watch some funny videos to get back in the mindset. Next thing you know, it's the middle of the night, and you literally haven't written a single word yet. I've never done that, so I wouldn't know what it was like, but uh, trust me, don't do it. Once you got your script, it's time to start recording. Now this part is actually split into two steps, live action and the voiceovers. Now for the live action, I've got this super clean studio right here, but if you don't have something like this, that's fine. Season two, I recorded literally in front of a pile of junk of college stuff that I never unpacked. But uh, if you have something like this, obviously do that. In terms of equipment, I got this nice ring light here that I use for lighting, and to record, believe it or not, I just use my phone. But I'm always worried that if I just use the camera app on my phone directly, it'll fill up on storage and I won't realize that until I'm halfway through a big recording, and then I'll have to delete a bunch of stuff and go back and do it again, and no one wants that. So instead, I use another program by Elgato called Epoch Cam. Again, not sponsored, but again, Elgato. Give me a call, give me a call. Now, this program allows you to record on your phone, but save it directly to a computer like that, so you don't have to worry about stuff filling up, and that's always good. So that's it for the video component, but what about the audio? Well, for that, I use a Blue Yeti USB microphone. Again, not sponsored. Again, Yeti, do I have a lucrative deal for you? What's in the always, like, begging for sponsorships in these videos? I don't get it. One of these days, though, it's gonna pay off. So, as I was saying, this microphone, this microphone is great for people who don't know anything about microphones, like me. You just plug it in to your computer, uh, twiddle with the gain knob until it sounds good, and you're good to go. Honestly, the hardest part 
is fiddling with this mic arm so that it's just barely out of view of the camera, but it still sounds nice. Now, a lot of lower budget, less professional productions will tell you to have some kind of teleprompter or something so the actor can read what they're supposed to say while they're up here. But here at the Chip Tide Incorporated, we don't have anything like that. Like I said, I use my phone to record so I can't pull up the script on there. And this computer that I use to record on, well, it sucks even worse than that one. And if I try and record and have stuff open at the same time, it doesn't go well. So instead, I have the script open all the way over there. And if I can't remember my lines on stage, I just run all the way over there, read it, run back, forget again, run back again, come back, simple as that. In terms of recording software, I use something called OBS. It's free, it's a little hard to figure out, but you'll get used to it. Just sync up the EPOC cam to the program, plug your microphone in, hit record, and you're ready to go. You may also remember back in the NES episode, one time I went over to Studio B over here to record some segments there. But I'll be honest, after recording for a bunch of hours, it was really annoying to reposition all of this to face that way, and so I was lazy and just didn't do it again. Congratulations! You're done with the live action, but you're not out of the woods quite yet. Now you gotta move your microphone back over to your desk so you can record the voiceovers. This part is actually super straightforward, because I can just have the script open right in front of me and just power through in big chunks until I'm done. I use a program called Audacity to record all my voiceovers. It's really straightforward. You just click the red button to go, the yellow button to stop. That's it. I don't got any jokes for this part. Okay, now that everything is recorded, it's time for editing. And I'm gonna be honest, this part kinda sucks. I use a program called Movavi Video Suite, mostly because it's pretty cheap. You just gotta load all your gameplay, live action, and voiceovers, and any music you wanna have in there. Wait about 20 years for it to process it all. Put it all in order, make some jokes, Cry when it crashes every two seconds, and you're good to go. Now luckily, I have a very, very real and not made up for comedic effect assistant named Richard who takes care of this for me so I don't have to go through the soul crushing experience of losing like an hour of work because I forgot to save and then it crashes. Luckily, I don't have to deal with that. And that folks is how an episode of the Chip Tide Show is made. So, if you find yourself wondering why these don't come out more often, uh, yeah, that's why. In all seriousness, if you are interested in making something like this for yourself and you have some more specific questions, hit me up in the comments down below, or you can contact me on Twitter, at the Chip Tide, and I'll help you out the best I can. If you guys did enjoy this video, you can subscribe and hit the bell or whatever you have to do nowadays to get notified when new videos come out. And, uh, yeah, that's about all I got for you today. So I will see you next time.